cucumbers are coming on strong y'all i gotta say i'm a little disappointed um these are the beautiful brad's atomic um, that were supposed to be really drought resistant and almost all of them have split i tried to leave them on the vine or the plant as long as i could but they're like all of them have split and it really feels like the skins are super thick so not really sure what I did wrong but they're not looking gorgeous this one is on one side I mean obviously this isn't Brad's Atomic but got some some little bug action on this one I'm gonna try to cut it up and see what I can do to salvage it. At least the cucumbers are good. So this is a way that I have figured out how to let my tomatoes um, get a little riper without the cats. Swatting them, thinking they're cat toys. Just use like a lemon bag or an onion bag and then I hang it up so that there can be air circulation through there. Um, I also have my garlic in there, which probably isn't the greatest idea on earth, but the cats also like to swat that, so we gotta figure out how to keep them away. And this works. Kind of like a bear bag. A bear bag, but for cats. I don't know if you can really see the difference in these two colors of tomatoes, but typically I pick them when they are this color and give them a couple of days hanging in the bag like I just showed you, and that tends to let them ripen up a bit without um, splitting um, and without falling off the plant. Now these ones I've just been struggling to figure out what color I'm supposed to pick them um, what what color I'm supposed to pick them at um, because honestly they're still pretty green um, they're just starting to get the first little bits of reddish orange on them this one a little more so not really sure what color I'm supposed to pick them that would help I could also put them in my magic bag if I knew how before I put them in the bag I check for ones that are split that might have any kind of damage these I'll put in with the tomato salad I don't want them to um, in any way affect the the other ones that I'm letting ripen a bit more so I check for splits and I cut those up and I eat them. OMG y'all, so many cucumbers. Now some of these are up to like a week and a half old. I've had them in the refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna cut those up and make some refrigerator pickles out of those. And I'm actually gonna take the fresh ones that I just picked. Please excuse the uh, coffee grounds on our super nice countertops, super nice. Also, do you love my nails? Love them. Y'all know I don't always have nails. These are impressed press-ons. I went to the drag club last night, so I had to have my nails done. Anyway, these ones I'm actually going to take to a friend. And this is the one that if you follow me on my other social media, um, you'll know this one is giant. It was, it was hidden, <laughs> and it's this crazy yellow color. Um, I'm actually going to take this one to, um, when I go to the animal shelter today, I have a friend who has a pig several pigs actually pet pigs and um from another pig owner she said that that pigs love big cucumbers so i'm going to take the pretty ones to the folks at the animal shelter and i'm going to take the big one to the pig at the shelter and here's a melta doing what a melta does i just had my first taste of the brad's atomic and the skin is thick um <laughs> melta quit uh, the skin is thick, but the flavor is very tart. It was much, um, much more tart than I expected. Not really a complaint. Almost had like a citrusy flavor. So maybe they're supposed to be this green. Um, now I'm going to have to eat this one because she just rubbed my finger. One of the ways I'm trying to stay hydrated and inspired to stay hydrated this summer is making various flavored waters. So I am... Putting in, um, this is a chocolate mint, and I just put that, fill up a jar with water and the mint, and let it sit in the refrigerator for about two or three hours, let it get good and cold. 
um, kind of bruise the mint a little bit when you put it in. I've also been putting lemon in with the mint also, and that has been pretty delicious. So, flavored water from home. A pro tip for those of you who are not in the know, peanut butter and mayonnaise lids totally fit on a regular standard mason jar. So you can use those and you don't have to worry about lids and rings and you don't have to worry about a metallic taste to your stuff. It's so good. Here are the tomatoes chopped up, the tommy toes and the little bit of the Brad's Atomic. I'm going to snip this up with some scissors, put that in, put a little bit of this Aldi white wine vinegar on it and let it marinate for a while in the refrigerator. I totally forgot to mention also the olive oil. A little bit of salt, Himalayan pink salt. That's what it looks like before I put the lid on and give it a little shake. And off to the refrigerator we go. If only she would learn how to fold laundry. When I cut my cucumbers, I like to get them just about as paper thin as possible. I like them to be about that, that big. And really, this is about as big as I want to let a cucumber get. Much bigger than that, and I'm going to have to cut the slices um, in half like this, and I, I don't prefer to do that. So what I will do next is put actually some of this um, Swiss honey flavored vinegar on top of this. I'm also going to cut up very super, super thinly sliced some Vidalia onion to put in here, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic, and we're going to let that marinate also. So about this much onion in with the cucumber. I've got the vinegar, salt, and garlic in there. I'm going to put the lid on it, shake it up, mix it all together. And we're going to let that marinate for a little while. Gosh, I wish this was smell vision and you were able to smell how awesome and fresh and green this, this picture is in reality. Um, I had a little taste of both. The tomatoes have really started to marinate well, um, break down some of the acid in that and mix the flavors together with the basil, the olive oil little bit of vinegar it's just it's gonna be really really nice the cucumbers I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar to I uh, didn't have quite enough for the brine they're perfect and crunchy and cold and will make an excellent topping on whatever Mr. Smith and I decide to have for supper tonight if you make something like this I would recommend that you let it sit in the refrigerator uh, the longer the better but at least for four or five hours so if you have the foresight to think about it, maybe say while you're making lunch or um, even the night before, this is gonna be really delicious once it has sat for a while. So anyway, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it so somebody else can see it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you ever make salad stuff kind of like this. Tell me what's going well in your garden. Tell me if you have any experience with these Brad's Atomic Tomatoes because I really want them to work. As usual, the kitty is trying to get involved. All right, that's all I have for you now, so we'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta.